A-T-G-I-F in the house. Good morning, my Facebook fam, and good morning, my YouTubers. This is PJ, as usual, coming to you fresh out of traffic. And in the usual style, we're giving God thanks for health and strength and life. I am giving thanks in particular this morning for my mom. Today's her birthday. So, you know, without her, there wouldn't be a me. So, big up yourself, Miss Icy. Anyway, guys, um, let's jump into the schools that were featured in last night's airing of Schools Challenge Quiz. And the schools that were featured were Arden High, and they went up against Victor Dixon High and fresh out of Manchester fresh out of Manchester no I found it slightly disturbing that Arden being the number seven seeded school having gone up against Victor Dixon who is supposed to be on 39 after the opening challenge the scores read Arden 1 and Victor Dixon 2. two. Um, that picture painted was, was quite dismal in light of the fact that Arden is usually one of those schools that I anticipate to do well in terms of advancing. I know the crop from the last two or three years have, fell, have fallen short. No, two years to be honest, two years. Never did so, hunky dory. But it's shocking, actually. And it sets me back even further in my quest. So, the school that has copped the title the most is unfortunately my, my arch nemesis, Kingston College. You know, but yeah, I know, y'all are gonna say, you know, boo. Yeah, but then was some other thing I go on with them from long time. Arden would have been the closest in terms of second run of up to try and surpass or at least overtake that that position. Arden is at number eight. Sorry, as in Arden has won it eight times. KC is eleven. So may I say all right? St. Jago is on a roll right now. But St. Jago has already has only copped it five times so enough groundwork we have to do for try pass out and reach that so technically speaking Jago would have to wait upon Jago for the next six years to try to reach the 11th the 11th or Monroe which is at six now for try to wait another five years for them to reach KC no let's talk about the fact that KC really not gonna move for now Casey, I got stand still for a good little while because I notice every year, wherever them are put out, it now equate to the team of them have like 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12. Them time there, it, it now got up again. Casey, I got in a one drive spell for a good little while. Me that, me that think for the next 10 years, Casey, I go win another title. So that gives other schools like Monroe or Arden. Or, well, not now going for Arden. I think not now going for Arden in a good little while either. So, uh, Ricky Jago, between Jago and Monroe, we are the pen pan for shatter. So, let's just talk about the match. We already discussed the scores um, at the end of the opening challenge. At the end of the speed, at the end of the speed round, um, the score was Victor Dixon on six i think it was and arden was on 13. yes they were on 13. um i've i have i have a theory and you can tell me if i'm wrong all right the questions yes i noticed that they are hard however however i think it's a case that persons have been preparing our schools have been preparing for this season by going over all the questions 
from the quest from the seasons before so me i go summarize that they have been swatting they have been swatting a lot of what's not so there's not a lot of repeat questions at all as a matter of fact i noticed that they have been using a lot of local artists for the audio whenever they're asking questions not your typical jay-z or drake or you know aria you know you know pink are no they're using jamaican artists for the audio so a lot of the schools don't know the song name what gregory isaac sing or jimmy cliff sing or so it really me glad because what's our reggae month now so but glad said them I do this. So it's really the schools that are very prepared, as in the non swatters like Monroe, like Diego. Hence, why the scores have been coming out at that because they are prepared. So let's talk about Victor Dixon and their performance, guys. I can roughly say I did not expect much, and the effort that they put in is more than a high. It's more than I had actually anticipated. So the little that they did display was more than I had even expected. Uh, big up yourself, Pocahontas. <laughs> you have one chick for the team. Why Indian? You're, uh, you're coming at two. Just like Pocahontas. Pocahontas not talk no time. Pocahontas talk one time. One time. And the one time in talk, I want it, the question did wrong, but. Poker Antis is a flag woman. Flag, you know the flag man them? Poker Antis did they, they are wave the flag while everybody else are sing and thing. So she was up there to support them. So big up yourself, Poker Antis. I see you. <laughs> Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? <laughs> but anyway, guys, on that note, um, have a really great, you know, weekend. I'll see you all, God's willing, on Monday. And um, Arden, I suspect the next match that you play, it's going to be, if it's a wild card, you'll get passed. But if it's a regular school with regular good stats in the single digits, you're out of there. So, on that note, guys, have a really great rest of the weekend. And I'll see you all on Monday. God's willing. Toodles.